I am having one heck of a time trying to record this video. So welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about digitizing your movie collection. So, are you bored at home right now with this issue of the virus, your self-isolation, uh, all that, which is a good thing, but are you bored out of your mind? So, if you are, let's do something about it. Let's digitize our movie collection. So, I'm going to teach you how I do my digitizing uh, just make sure you're not using it for anything illegal, any piracy, please just just do it straight, do it forward, do it the correct way. Don't do anything illegal. So why, why am I doing this? The main purpose of doing this is to safeguard my collection. I want to have my collection in the digital form. Why? That, uh, the main reason is I have multiple devices. I have either laptops, tablets, TVs, you name it, mobile devices. If I could have my movies in one central location for anybody in my family to enjoy at any given time without having to go and reach and pull out my movie, good, that's perfect, that's what I want. I don't want to have to deal with uh, streaming or anything like that, Let's let's get that out of out of the way so let's not worry about that right now yes I can have Netflix but if I do it on my own system on my own network then I can adjust or determine what quality I want my movies to be in then my network will determine if I can do that or not so I have a kid I have a almost two-year-old he's gonna start getting into movies Disney movies and all that and I know for a fact that he's going to want to watch Wreck-It Ralph one million times. So I'm not going to be putting Wreck-It Ralph in and out, in and out the shelf, put it into the Blu-ray player. Blu no, 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 no. I can grab his tablet, go put it in, watch it, just give him the tablet. He wants to watch it again. He wants to watch it on the TV, a couple clicks, and it's done. So that's the main purpose of my digitizing. And now that we have the free time, hey, it's a perfect time to do this. It's not a very time-consuming or effort-consuming thing. You can set it, forget it, come back when it's done, time it, and then keep going, keep going. Just you know, keep a, a track of what you're doing. So what I use is this program called Leewool. I already talked about Leewool, the Blu-ray player. With the Blu-ray player, you can see, you can watch from any region you could change it so it'll be just you know on the fly you could watch it on your computer you could connect your computer to your TV and then watch it so it could it could make any blu-ray from any region playable in your own region so I'll leave the link in the description I'll leave it somewhere in here so now the next part with the Lee will is a, a software to actually convert to decrypt the blu-ray and make it into an mp4 you can make it an mp4 NK, mkv it says it right there mkv flv avi <clears throat> so there's a whole bunch of different formats that you can transform your dvds or your blu-rays also i think it says you could create the 3d movies so you can yeah they're right there if you have movies that are in 3d it'll, it'll convert them to 3d movies so that's pretty cool so we have the free trial we have it for the Mac we also have it for uh, where's the Windows there is a Windows version so let's look at that here it is that's for Mac and down here we'll see Pro Media for Windows the one I have is not the trial one it's the paid version so let's look at that so let's go to Leo professional media the movie that we are going to decrypt is going to be Fletch all right so it's gonna be Fletch pretty cool movie I chose it because it's gonna be a simple one to do so once you open the professional media here we go it's gonna open to this 
we have different tabs here and the first thing we're going to do is go to convert we already have the movie in the blu-ray drive so make sure you have a blu-ray drive that's the initial part <coughs> go to add blu-ray dvd add from cd-rom mine it's k drive fletch you'll see it there it will start analyzing it once you finish analyzing it then you're going you're going to see it available here there you go so we have three different things full movie main movie custom mode I go to main movie click on the first one or on the one that's the longest you can click title one or title zero <coughs> so that is 138 13 that's the length of the movie so then we click OK And analyzing again and if this is for a reason I'll show you why just in a little bit <clears throat> so there it is you're gonna see the format output blah 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 you could change all of that all of this can be changed but here if you click here it's gonna take a little bit but with that you could trim out either the beginning sometimes you have a lot of stuff at the beginning some movies and if you just want to start at one point boom you just click on it or the the credits if you want to cut out the credits <coughs> you can cut out the credits once the movie ends boom it's done so that way you're saving some space you don't want to be you know scrolling through that you can cut it out boom be done with it you can have the start time the end time you know all of that goodies watermark crop effects 3d all that good things so i'm just going to cancel that i don't care about that I'm going to have it just like it is. It's going to be 11.6 gigs. So we're going to do that. Required hard disk space. <clears throat> now make sure you have enough space. So Lee will test. That's where I created a folder. You could choose wherever you want. That's your freedom. And I think it defaults to the C drive to Lee will. So make sure either you have enough space in your C drive or just put it on a, you know, additional hard drive. You can change it here. That's just normal computer stuff. I have enough space, 116 gigs. So we're gonna hit convert. So this is gonna go, blah, 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 blah. It's gonna keep going. So this is going to just keep going, keep going, keep going. So we're going to pause this and then come back once it's done, guys. So see you in a little bit. All right, so we are back. So now, it has been done. <coughs> it took about, I don't know, an hour and something. So, we're going to go to the Lee test. We have Fletch. So, I created this folder. I did not create the folder. I only created the Lee test folder. So, this created this folder, 11.6 gigs. And here's the title. And will it play? There it is. And I don't want to play too much of it, so not to get in trouble. All right, guys. So that is <coughs> the proof of concept with the Lebo Professional Media to digitize your Blu-rays. Now, I can go in depth if you want on how to change the formats and all of that stuff. But this was just uh, the quick run. Hey, you put it in, just do a couple clicks, and it's an MP4, and it's going to play pretty much anywhere. So that 11.6 gigs is going to play pretty much anywhere. It's an MP4. <coughs> in addition to that, I will leave links uh, in the description where you can download. It's just legal.com download. Uh, it's not an affiliate link. And I may be an affiliate in the future. I don't know. I do have other links for Amazon and other stuff that is that they are affiliate links that help support my channel. I also have a Patreon. So if you want to support the channel, you can subscribe, which I really appreciate. You can comment. You can give a thumbs up. Um, if you know another method or anything or anything that you can help the community, please leave a comment uh, describing, hey, this is how this should be done, or I there's a disk that has an issue. I there's probably disk that cannot be done. So just leave that. Um, in the future, I might try with 4K. I don't have a 4K drive on my PC, and my PC is getting old, so. 
I don't know if it can handle 4K at this point. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful for you. All right, so I hope this video was really helpful for you. If you have any questions or I can help you with anything, just leave a comment in the, in the comment areas and leave a question and I'll try my best to answer it. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much. Have fun. Be safe. Wash your hands. Keep the social distancing. Don't freak out. Don't touch your face like I'm doing right now. Um, I did wash my hands a couple times today, so I did clean my computer area. I disinfected it, so I'm good to go right now. <clears throat> but yeah, be just don't panic. Stay at home. Convert your collection into digital. Buy some hard drives. Buy some Time Wolves 10 terabytes. You'll have some fun with it. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.